Welcome back folks, this is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we are going to see how Intent works in Android. So what exactly is Intent? Intent in Android is used to communicate between two or more activities and also to pass data from one activity to the another. So for example if you have a login application where you enter your username password and you click on submit right. So upon successful login you are redirected to your profile page where you can see welcome and then your username. So this data is passing from one activity to the another activities right with the help of this intent. So over here I have a video on intent or how intent works in Android in detail. So you will find the link of this video in the description area. So do watch this video first so you would have a better understanding of how intent works. So now let us start with our practical and over here I have created a project intent. So we would require two activities. One activity where user will enter the data and on click of submit this data or the message we would see on some other activity. So let us first create another activity also or simply a second activity. So we'll go to new activity, empty activity, select it. We'll give a name as second activity and we'll simply click on finish. So I've created a second activity over here and in the main activity we will have a plain text and a button. So on the plain text user will enter some message on click of button this message would be seen on the second activity. So let us first design a main activity. So we'll take your a linear layout and we'll put as orientation as vertical and over here in the design will come will select the plain text drag and drop over here and also we have button over here let's align them in order we have here as hint uh, enter your message and we'll give a proper id to it as my text we'll give padding Android colon layout margin top as 20 dp. The same we would give it for our button. And ID for the button we would give it as send. Text would be also the same send. And we'll keep the width as wrap content. And let us check. Okay. And we'll take the button to the center. So Android colon layout gravity center horizontal. So we have here edit text and a button and on click of that button the text should be displayed to second activity. So in the activity underscore second we would just simply have a text view. So linear layout and over here we would have a text view drag and drop text view. And we'll simply put some padding or margin top as 40 dp. And the ID to the text view will give it as display. Display. Okay. So now we need to bind this GUI components which we have dragged and dropped it over here to our main activity.kt file. And over here we would now start to bind it. So we'll create for, for the text, we, for the edit text, we'll create a variable as message equal to we have find view by id, then edit text and over here r dot id dot my text. Now for button, so btn underscore send equal to find view by id button r dot id dot we have id as send. Now on click of button we need to call some event listeners right so use this btn underscore send dot set on click set on click listener this one okay and we'll have object over here colon view dot on click listener and under this we would override our on click uh, method function override on click and simply comment this to do and inside on click 
we would have our intent so now we'll write intent intent equal to intent and bracket so under this uh, intent we need to pass some parameters so there are two parameters from where we want to take the data which is nothing but our main activity.kt file and where we have to display the data which is nothing but a second activity so for considering the main activity we have application context okay so this is nothing but our main activity from where the data is been provided and we need to pass it to second activity so that is the reason second activity the operators class dot java okay so these are the two parameters of intent and then use this intent dot put extras so you can see over here put extra the put extra is basically is used to get the data from the user so the parameters we have is name colon string and value so key and value pair so we'll give the name as first we'll take put extras then the key would be message and the value would be which the user would enter from edit text so the edit text is bind to variable message so we would pass that message over here and we have get text or simply the text dot to string so we get the value from user over here using this variable and convert it to dot to string and then we need to start intent so we have start activity and we need to pass intent over here so we have successfully created intent from for our main activity.kt file and onto our second activity.kt file we need to show that message right so let's go into second activity.kt file and over here we have in the xml text view so let's bind this text view first so create a variable val as a text display text underscore display equal to find view by id find view by id this is the text view gui component then r dot id dot we have displayed the id of our text view okay and now we have this text underscore display dot in order to get the text and set it to our text view we have set text and the parameters are we have intent dot extras so this is nothing but get extra comes from get extras over here so in main activity it was put extras here it is get extras dot get string and the key which we have specified over here it was msg message so let's pass that key over here msg and we are done with it let's save it and run it okay so here is our application let's enter a message we'll say hello folks and if i click on send it should be displayed on next activity so click on send and it shows over here hello folks so this is how data is passed from one activity to another using intent in android so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe